What's cracking, you magnificent bastards? I love that opening. How's everybody doing on this rainy, blustery Wednesday? No, Thursday. Thursday. Just got done talking to Mr. Al. Al Wood. I love that guy, man. I would say he's probably one of my best friends. If not my best friend. Jeez. Yeah, we got a couple of things into the shop. We got a stash ad, and I got progress on the victory. So, first, a little mail call. Uh, big shout out and thank you to Quip over at GI uh, Mechanics Scale Modeling, uh, his motorcycle group build. A lot of you guys are. Uh, um, familiar with it? If you're not, every uh, I think it starts in January. Quip, massage. He holds a motorcycle group build, and uh, I try to get in every year. I didn't get in this year. I always built in the tank. That's why. But uh, this is from 2023. Really cool. Thanks, buddy. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. It'll go in the folder. Thank you. And we got some pictures from when uh, Jeff and the Peoples were here. <laughs> Alright, so this is this is me, Mr. BG, Jeff, and Jason from Blue Ox. Notice how I'm giving telling Jeff he's number one. We saved that one for last. That's a good picture. Uh, here, here we go. Again. Telling him he's number one. Both of us telling each other we're number one. <laughs> oh, God. Too funny. And we got the four of us. Me, Mrs. Mac, Patty, and Jeff. And then I like this, uh, he sent one, me and Mrs. Mac. This, I don't have one of me and Mrs. Mac. My lovely bride. Yeah. I think I'm going to uh, make this one bigger and, uh, and frame it. So, the victory. I got uh, the rat lines are done. What a pain in the ass. Um, the upper two, I still have to trim. Uh, but the bottom ones are done, painted. And this is what we got. There are bottom rat lines. These all have to be trimmed yet. And those have to be trimmed. Oh! Yeah, so there, there that is. I'm thinking if everything goes according to plan, maybe another week on this thing. Uh, I gotta make start making the yard arms. Um, but I'm thinking that uh, yeah, it shouldn't take that long once I get going on it. I read the directions. Well, if you want to call them that, and uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna be all right. So looking good, looking good. Here's to you, you magnificent bastards. Let me get your armory bossed. Ooh. What else is going on? Oh! Went to town meeting last night. We have what's called town meeting up here in the New England. We're the originators. Town government. You get to go and they have articles to deal with the town, blah, blah, blah. Um... I don't know if I've, I don't even know if I've mentioned this, but uh, we live on an unaccepted road. Me and Mrs. Mack bought our house in 2014. Never heard that word mentioned. Never, we were never told we live on an unaccepted road. 
There's a bunch of them in Massachusetts. I was doing some research. There's over 4,300 unaccepted roads. Now, most of these are little dirt roads, like me and Mrs. Mack live on, that were originally little cottages that became houses, but fell through the cracks. The town never, never accepted the road as a public way. And it is literally illegal in this state of Massachusetts for a municipality or a town, whatever you want to call it, to spend public money on a private way because that's what unaccepted roads are, are private ways. So, I pay the same tax rate as everybody else in town. But because I live on an unaccepted road, a.k.a. private way, the town doesn't have to spend any a dime on my road. They don't have to plow it. They don't have to fix it. They don't have, if the tree falls down, they don't have to take the tree down. Well, we got all kind of upset about that, me and my neighbors. There's a whole bunch of us. We got a big lake down the river from us. I met a lady. Her house was built in 1906. The town was incorporated in 1870, all right? So I'm thinking there were kind of things down there before that, all right? Just that the, the roads never got accepted. So we had to go to town meeting last night. They had an article so that they can deem my road a private way, which would give them permission to fix it. And we're like, yeah, but we don't want that. We want it to be an accepted road. Why can't you accept it as is? So we found out last night what we need to do, and that's what we're gonna we're gonna start doing. So, yeah, it's a long slog ahead, but we at least you got say in, in your own government. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, and I ain't going away. <laughs> I'm not going away. My name is not going away. We're, we we're just adamant about that these roads be accepted, so that we get full benefits like everybody else does. Yeah, you know, I said that I got up and talked. You have, you, you have the right to get up and talk. And I'm like, you, you know, I bought my house in 2014. There, nobody ever told me my road was an unaccepted road. I didn't hear that word until about a year ago because somebody, somebody smart finally figured it out. And its bottom line is money. They, don't have, they can get my tax dollars, but they don't have to spend any money. So they get a free ride out of me, but I get nothing. We don't have no kids in the school system. We've used the ambulance once. Yeah, so things need to change. But yeah, very uh, town meeting is is pretty cool. It's the, it's the smallest government you can have, uh, and still have say. You get the vote on stuff. Uh, a couple of close votes last night. There were a couple of major issues. Uh, to the point where they had to take a standing vote. Everybody had to stand up, yay or nay, and count. And there were a couple of close ones. But, you know, you only five people decided one vote. You know what I mean? So, there you go. Democracy, baby, democracy. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. All right, you magnificent bastards. When I get more done on this, I'll be talking to you. Have a nice week. Useless.